In this next video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the taxes for the Shopify store in your new store, so you can stay compliant and ensure they have the accurate tax collection. To get started, there's two things I like to do before I can hit this up. First of all, I'm going to sign in directly into Shopify. Once I have my store already been signed in, I'm going to open a new tab and locate the help center of the Shopify International Location Tax Settings. This website can be helping me to understand the tax towards the tax registration for the following regions. So, on this page, if the of course your, this region is not based, of course, into your store, you can charge tax, of course, and set it up some location based rates. So, if I go here into my Shopify store, let's get started first of all with the automatic tax calculation. We can save you a lot of time. So, if you're selling, for example, in regions like the US, you care selling it to Canada or into the United States, the Shopify can automatically calculate taxes for you based on the customer's location. Let's go, of course, you need to configure some tax rates for the regions you're selling in. So for example, let's go into the section of the settings element. I clicked here. And now let's focus into the left side. Let's scroll a little bit down until you find tax and duties. Once I click into taxes and duties, we can see that we have a shipping zones, different regions where I can start collecting taxes and where I can start collecting duties. As you can see, we are having only collecting taxes into this country, which is Mexico. This is the reason why of this is because our store is located into this country. That means that we are automatically collecting taxes based on the country we are actually currently living. To make sure this one has an accurate uh, information, I'm going to click in it. And you can see that we have the base taxes, the regions, and the country. Usually, this country uh, asked for a 16% of the taxes. And here I have um, all the states that are inside this country. Usually, we can see that we have the 8 to 16 federal taxes, or instead of 16. This is just in case this value is different from this specific country or state. In this case, Mexico, the whole country is exactly the same for all the states. That's why I'm going to just leave this as it is. Now, if you're selling international, especially in the United States or the United Kingdom, it's going to be really important, guys, that you need to enable the BAT. That means value added tax. The Shopify allows you to configure BAT so it's automatically applied for order shipping to this country. So certain products may be exempt from taxes such as digital goods, educational materials, educational materials, depending on the region. So the Shopify lets you set up tax overrides and exemptions for these specific items to show compliance with local laws. And for that, you can focus and scroll a little bit down. And you can see that inside taxes and duties, I'm going to scroll a little bit down. And here you and here have the duties and import taxes. Really important to collect duties and import taxes. So we can, of course, international uh, support prepaid duties. Just in case you are doing some print on the mat, you don't need to do this. But if you do, if you don't have print on the mat, then enable the courier support prepaid duties. Collect into the countries you are currently focusing on, for example, Mexico, and all the international stuff. Let's say that we are not selling into Australia, Austria, Belgium, and the Chief Republic. Confirm. And now that this information has not been set up, I hit now into next. Now this is the product update information. The updation of more elements can help you to get more accurate estimates for duties and impose some taxes. You can update this with TSB file or you can just leave this as it is. Usually this information once again should be filled if you're doing some drop shipping or product on demand, this information should be added automatically. Lastly, you want to make sure that you're communicating with the new policies in Feast. So you want to update your store policies and update your Feast just in case you wanted to add this. You can focus into the left side focus into customer privacy and policies where you can update all your information. Now let's go for next and review the terms and conditions. The transaction fee is almost 1% if the order uses Shopify payments and 1.5 if the order provides a user. So I needed to agree to the terms and conditions and hit now and turn on. Now I can be able to collect duties and import taxes at my checkout. So 
Lastly, you can also have the option to either display taxes including into your product prices or to have taxes added separately at the checkout. This is a really important decision depending on the customer experience you wanted to offer and local regulations. Make sure that in your global settings, you wanted to include the style taxes in product prices and shipping rates. If you don't include this, it's going to be really important that you tell your customers that you are not selling this product with taxes uh, included. The charge sales and shipping and charge BAT and digital goods are enabled. Now, this, uh, this has been automatically saved. So once your taxes are set up, the Shopify will generate some tax reports for you. And these reports show how much tax you have collected in each region, helping you stay on loop of compliance and make tax filling easier. You can focus into collection managed by store. And here you can get all the information about Tudix and the reports of your taxes. So tax reports here should be appearing in them. Since this is just a website that there's no products or orders added, there's no data found for the data range selected. But here is where you can check out all the reports of your taxes. So before going live, it's going to be a good idea to create a test order to make sure your taxes are being applied correctly. So go to the checkout process and check the right tax rate are displayed based on the customer's location. Check that my product now, it has the tax included down below for the price. There you have it guys. That's how you set up some taxes into the Shopify. Make sure to double check your settings and test everything to ensure your store is compliant. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully we can see you next time.